Good afternoon, dear ladies. I'm going to uh, present you the explanation of the chimney sweeper by William Blake. Uh, William Blake wrote this uh, poem part uh, as one part of his collection Songs of Innocence and it has another version in Songs of Experience but we are supposed to present only the chimney sweeper uh, from the collection of Songs of Innocence uh, uh, as it is included in our syllabus <coughs> in this uh, poem the writer Blake portrays the harsh unimaginable living and working conditions for young children. The children are going through a very hard work, which is chimney sweeping. Uh, and his intention of writing this poem was to make it appear as a propaganda against the use of children as chimney sweeps. The poem is a form of literary protest. He uses his literature to protest against the regimes of his uh, time not only the governmental, not only the official, but also the uh, religious re regimes and institutions which did not help these children and uh, uh, make some way, some value to their humanity. Um, um, also, also, the climbing boys, um, the chimney sweepers, were uh, all chil mostly were children who uh, were at the age of four or maybe uh, less and they were sold by their parents because of starving because of poverty and they were um, uh, sold to master sweeps these uh, children frequently uh, or frequently suffocated inside the chimneys by inhaling the soot they were breathing the soot instead of breathing oxygen and that's why they uh, mostly uh, either suffocated and they develop some uh, lung uh, uh, problems or diseases or they were uh, they were developing deformity of the spine because they were uh, either falling from the high chimneys or their spines are rolled because of their uh, crawling into the chimneys so they were all uh, deformed whether through their uh, breathing or in um, in, uh, uh, whether through breathing or falling or even uh, some of them were, were burnt by accident they were burnt in these chimneys and no one calls for their rights uh, uh, by, uh, by presenting the intention of the writer is that by presenting or lamenting the, uh, uh, the, this ill treatment of children and refusing it, denouncing it uh, Blake arouses, uh, tries to arouse compassion and the sense of guilt among the bourgeoisie uh, class um, who were using these children in cleaning their chimneys. And he hoped that, uh, uh, that the sympathy towards this uh, issue is not only individual, he hoped that it becomes social in order to, uh, to help uh, uh, these uh, children by somehow uh, presenting some law or legislative uh, 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 rules that govern uh, treating uh, children in this way. <coughs> in fact, this, uh, this image, this figure of the chimney sweeper has been used by Blake as a key emblem in his verse because of its dangerous consequences. He was so much caring for such a matter. Uh, uh, but what worsens the situation is that the children themselves with their innocence and ignorance uh, were conforming to the situation, were, uh, were, were what, uh, trying to compromise with the situation by waiting for something heavenly that may uh, uh, release them from their hardships. But of course, this is going
the dreamland not in reality now what is the story of the poem the uh, story of the poem is that is revolving around a narrative a story told by a child who is a very young boy and he's telling the uh, the story according to his own point of view according to his perspective um the boy was sold by his father to the labor master or to the chimney sweeps master and uh, this uh, being sold by his father uh, is going to be a very uh, 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 a very hard psychological deformity why because the father the figure of the father is uh, uh, um, let's say uh, in, in the boy's uh, life is the source of protection care um, uh, safety okay so that child from his very young age has lost his mother he is an orphan of course his father his mother is dead and his father sold him because of poverty so uh, um, he, his father made of him a slave to another man so he lost his safety he lost his uh, feeling of safety and the protection now the sweep meets and um, um, uh, by the way the the sweep uh, the chimney sweeper was very young uh, to the extent that he was not able to utter words in the correct way this speaker meets another uh, child he is a newcomer to this uh, sweeping gang his name is thomas dacre and this uh, child arrives so terrified and his his uh, uh, fear uh, magnified when they shaved his hair um, so the speaker tries to reassure Tom by telling him that it is better for you to be shaved, uh, better than being spoiled for your hair, to be spoiled uh, uh, by uh, the suit. Now, after this, uh, it seems that Tom has been uh, soothed by uh, the speaker to the extent that he falls asleep and he dreams uh, a very beautiful dream for him. Uh, which which uh, this dream represents a landscape for Tom. Uh, he dreams of an angel, and this angel is so bright. His he's holding a very bright, uh, uh, shining key. It seems that this shine the angel is the hope for this child, the only hope. And uh, this angel is going to set the chimney sweepers all free. And he allows them to play in the green fields and then ascend to the heaven. This dream seems to suggest that even if boys find some, uh, uh, some uh, solution in dreams, but this uh, solution is conditioned. Why it is conditioned? Because they, ha they have to be obedient workers in order to go into heaven. This is the message that the angel tells Tom uh, with. Now we are going to go through the uh, poem. The poem contains six quatrains, six stanzas. Each stanza is containing four lines. Uh, the stanza is a uh, yambic pentameter, except for the uh, fourth line, because in the fourth line it seems that uh, there is the summing or the summary of uh, uh, the stanza in each fourth line. That's why the writer. Uh, uh, gives a heavier meter by giving six, uh, six meters uh, in the fourth line. In the first stanza, we are going to see that uh, the uh, uh, that the speaker is summing up his uh, narrative. Uh, the child sketches his life uh, narrative sketches it means he mentions it without details uh, and he speaks about the orphaning and the hard life that others like him live where their only survival and consolation is going to lying where in dreaming uh, of some better days to come to them so their only outlet is to go to the landscape of dreams why it seems that with, the, with their innocence and with their ignorance, uh, it seems to them that the only outlet is going to be 